Good morning, uh, good morning everyone. Now I uh, start my presentation. Uh, have you ever been to Jinjilbang? Do you know Jinjilbang where it is? The special place in Korea where many types of sauna are gathered. Uh, I'm sure that as if you are a Korean or you are uh, lived in Korea a very long time, at least once you go to the Jinjilbang with your mama or papa or your girlfriend or boyfriend, except except Colin. And I've been. Oh, you have been there. Yeah. And when you go there, uh, there is a food that symbolizes Jinjilbang, uh, and I go to the. When and I go to the ginger, when I go to the bar, I always eat this food and what it is called Kunjagera. Uh, <laughs> smoked eggs, brown colored eggs. But uh, there's a problem when I buy a Kunjagera uh, because it's much much expensive it is very expensive, much ex more expensive than uh, than just normal oil boiled eggs because it is hard to make and hard to cook. So uh, now I present you how to make the hunjagera at home without fire. So my props are very simple. There's uh, only three props you have to need when you make the snow eggs at home. First, eggs. Do you see these eggs? And second, salt. <laughs> and the last one is the electric rice cooker. Uh, and now let's get started. <coughs> First, just clean up your eggs very tightly. You have to clean hard the surface of the eggs because although you cannot see, there is many, there are many pollutants sticked on sticked on the eggs, and you have to be clean. And then when you uh, when you cook, the pollutants are not see on the surface of eggs. Like this, scrub very tightly, not to uh, break the egg, break the eggs. And next, put into the electric bicycle mm. and pour the water. You cannot see this way, but there is a water. You have to be pour the water to the line when the half of eggs are sinked. If you pour more water than the bottom half bottom of the eggs, uh, it is stinked, not green. And next, pour the salt. Uh, as many as you want. If you if you want salty or very hard hard taste, you uh, maybe you have to pour it on about two pack of sorts. But my think in my thought, the ideal uh, amount of salt is the half volume of the water you just poured before. And the point is that you have to you have to pour the uh, salt on the surface of the eggs so when you cook the egg, when you cook the salt are injected to the uh, to the below the surface of the eggs and just cook it. Although you can see the sixty minutes on the uh, screen, but you have to cook it for ninety minutes. You have to obey these ninety minutes because if you cook over the ninety minutes, the eggs are exploded. Uh, egg, eggs explode in the, uh, the rice cooker, and if you less cook than 90 minutes, it is not well, it is not well cooked, and it is not well flavored, so the taste will be so bad or flat. So when it is, this, the picture is that when it is all cooked, so put up the eggs, but it is very hot, you have to be careful about that. And put 
put into the cold water to calm down, to, to cool down the very hot eggs for a few minutes. So this is the end. Wow. 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 Wow.